What are the last days and hours like for a person who's dying a natural death and what can you do to support them? At this stage, they're going to be very unresponsive. If they're responsive at all, it's pretty minimal. Now, sometimes people will have that rally, that burst of energy where they wake up for a day or less, and then they slip back into that unresponsive state. So if that happens, just remember that it's a great opportunity for you to say goodbye, but it doesn't mean that they're getting better. They're not eating anymore or taking liquids and they've lost the ability to swallow. They usually have their mouth open when they're breathing, so it's going to get very dried out. Use a sponge on a stick or a soft toothbrush dipped in water to keep it moist. They're not going to be making a whole lot of waste anymore, but they are still going to produce small amounts. So make sure that you check the brief about every two hours and change them if they need it. Here's a little tip. Adult briefs will usually have a blue line that shows up down the front if they're wet. Skin breakdown is less of a concern, but you still want to make sure that you reposition once in a while to prevent any possible pressure sores. You don't have to flip them like a pancake, just do a little bit of gentle repositioning with maybe a pillow under the shoulder and the hip, and then after a few hours, take it out and move that to the other side. It's common for them to be very feverish and sweaty. So lighten up the blankets, maybe just a sheet, change the bedding and their clothes if they're damp, Open a window for some fresh air and put a cool, damp washcloth on their forehead. Even though they're unresponsive, they may still be experiencing pain. And you can usually tell by looking at their face for any grimacing or creased up forehead or any moaning or guardedness when you try to move them. So make sure that you give them medications as ordered. Breathing is going to change all over the place. That is normal and there's nothing you need to do for it and nothing to worry about. They may also get that congestion, that death rattle, and all you really need to do about that is lift the head of the bed up and turn them on their side a little bit, and that will usually help that. Other than those things, it's really less about doing and more about being. Be with them, hold their hand, talk to them, play their favorite music, and let them know that you are there to support them as they are completing their journey.